looking at onboarding a carrier and tracking insurance and safety information with Carrier Lookout. First, click on Carrier, then choose Add Carrier or select from your carrier list. Today we're going to be entering in a new carrier whose DOT number is 1315209. Next, I press Continue. Here, the system will use the Carrier Lookout to automatically enter in the information that we have on the carrier information based upon the FMCSA database. You'll see here that there is a carrier lookout tab that provides up-to-date information on pending insurance as reported to the FMCSA and basic scores. We see that this carrier has green dot, which means that they are up to date in insurance and have a good history. If yellow, that would indicate that we may wish to look at their basic scores or that their insurance is about to expire. Anytime you interact with the carrier or enter the carrier on the load, their information will update. You can also manually update so as you can see, the Carrier Lookout is integrated directly into the system and nothing much needs to be done to utilize it, except to look on the Carrier Lookout tab to actually see the information. Regarding the carrier onboarding, you can click on Onboard Carrier here and you will see an email that you're able to send to your carrier. Your carrier will click on this link and be able to process the onboarding application completely online. Let's see how you can set up your carrier onboarding in the settings tab. Click on settings and click on onboard carrier setup. Here you have several options. The first section is documents to be signed. These are documents that you want your carrier to sign. Most common would be something like a carrier agreement. Here, we've, we've dragged and dropped our carrier agreements. Now we're going to click on the PDF to customize it. As you can see here, you have the ability to drag and drop your customization so that you let the system know what fields need to be entered. Here you'll see we put the company name and we put the company, the signature. Once done, click Save. carrier agreement or other onboarding document is converted to an electronic document ready to be signed. If you want to keep a document but no longer wish it to appear currently on your onboarding packet, go ahead and click on the agreement in question and unselect active. You can also delete if you want to permanently erase the file from your system. Documents to be attached indicate to your carrier what documents you need uploaded. Here we have examples of certificate of insurance, W-9, or and an optional survey. To click or to add document, click Add New. Here you will be able to type in the description Note if it's required, and if it's required, be able to note the reoccurrence. To use this feature, you would start with the renewal date and the intervals. This way, the system knows that it should be requested or renewed every 12 months after August. Once complete, click Save. As you can see here, we have, we have two required documents to be attached, and an optional survey. The next options include our equipment and other onboarding set settings. In the equipment tab, you have the ability to decide if you want a list of equipment to show for your carrier to select from. Here we could select all of the equipment or we can choose just a select few that we want to know 
if our carrier has. I've selected the equipment I want to show on my list and I'm done. Here you have the ability to customize what information is shown. One option to note is the required federal tax ID. We suggest requiring this. Without the federal tax ID, a 1099 cannot be produced by our system for your carriers. You'll see here that we, that we also give you the ability to specify required insurance and specify the amounts. Select from the company email address you want the, on, the carrier onboarding to be sent from or select the reply email. And now you've completed your carrier onboarding setup. The last thing to do is to click on configuration options and to customize your carrier onboarding email. Here you see the welcome aboard email that you can customize for your own unique touch. Once done, click save. Now you're ready to send this to your carriers as shown before or choose to put a link on your website or other social media as seen here by going to the settings tab, clicking on onboard carrier setup and looking for the onboard link in the onboard settings section. Not only can this be put in a website, but you can also put it on a social media advertisement or in your email signature. Here we have an example. Here they can fill out or modify the information that was pulled from Carrier Lookout. If they forget to enter an item, it will prompt them as an important step. Here, they have the ability to update their insurance information. And you'll see that if a requirement is not met, they will be notified. Here, Based on your preferences, they will be prompted to add a driver or additional contacts and select the lanes where they track. Here you have the list of equipment that you selected. After this is the ACH payment and the ELD and certificate information if those items are checked to be included. Next is our document to be attached section. Here you will see the certificate of insurance. Here you will see the document uploaded. Click next. We will repeat the process for the W-9. The survey is not required, so your carrier can skip it if they choose. Here we have the other online documents that you uploaded. The carrier can fill out the documents and sign his signature. Click finish. Your carrier gets a notice that the carrier packet is finished. Now that the carrier is done, it is time for you to look at their packet. Click on the carrier tab and pull up the carrier. Here we see the carrier packet shown the information the carrier entered is also viewed in the carrier information fields and will be automatically entered into the system. When it is time for the carrier to renew their documents, Load Manager will alert you. A few ways Load Manager alerts you is in their carrier profile, but also when building a load, if you go to select a carrier, that has documents that need to be uploaded, it will note as seen here. An email will appear that you can send to your carrier for the updated information. A note will also appear on the carrier information page, prompting you to request the documents. If for any reason you press cancel, you can always click on request expired documents to send an email. With Carrier Lookout and Carrier Onboarding, easily onboard carriers completely online and continue to track and update documents as needed.